Shalom. Today I will speak about hypocrites and judging others. A small but vocal minority of Christians believe that contraception, abortion, and gay marriage, for instance, are sinful and believe the state should pass laws to discourage or criminalize these practices. A central tenet of the 1960s free love hippie movement was the idea that relationships and individual preferences should be kept strictly confidential. The hippies believed that the state should have no say in these. These times and the societal upheaval these ideas caused are largely forgotten. But they led to more reproductive freedoms. Freedoms that are being taken away, one by one. What do evangelicals want, outlaw personal sin, free will, or both? Some evangelicals have expanded their perspective beyond personal sin. Examples of this are war, poverty, racism, pollution, and economic inequality. This is called a structural sin. These issues should be a priority for any Christian because they breed discontent and hatred. But it is easier to legislate against abortion or contraception than to eliminate poverty or war. Of course, not all evangelical leaders are the same. Some fight for legislation that reflects their moral principles, while others stress the importance of personal freedom. I hold the view that each individual is endowed with the gift of free will. I'm on the side of freedom. It is not up to the state or human law to judge a person's private conduct. Judgment ultimately belongs to God. If politicians and political parties assume the position of God by passing judgment on personal conduct through legislation, then what is the use of religion? Jesus died for our personal sins. The state shouldn't legislate his sacrifice away. There is a final judgment, but it certainly doesn't happen in a human court. Those who judge others in the name of God will be judged themselves. Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 to 5, says. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, Let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Amen.